If you're a foodie like me, Silver Lake is one of the best neighborhoods to live in LA. I'm calling this development that we're sitting in, Virgil Green, the culinary epicenter of the east side. We are a mile from one of my favorite places, Greekman's, and we're a mile from another favorite, Safi's. But just within a few blocks of this development, you have Alma's Cider Bar, it was voted one of the best bars on the east side. Just down the street from that, you have Bolita, which serves beautifully crafted and delicious cocktails. You can keep walking down the street and you're gonna land at one of the best bagel shops in LA, Courage Bagel. Just a little bit farther down the street from there, you're gonna have Melody and Wine Bar. And then if you keep walking down the street, you're gonna have Squirrel, known for its breakfast. Across the street from that, you're gonna have Voodoo Vin. And just next to that, if I can find it on the map here, which it's not, so let's look it up. You have Kin Can LA, which is, I'm sorry, a little farther up the street. Voted one of the best dining experiences on the east side. Voodoo Vin was voted one of the best places to take people from New York that are visiting California. And here is a little secret that people don't know about yet. Right here on the corner of Melrose and Virgil, in this building here, which used to be the Cha 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 uh, apartment complex which has been turned into condos. On the ground floor you're getting a brand new izakaya restaurant called Budonoki. It's gonna open in the next couple months and I was in there for a private tour of the space last week. It is awesome. They have a little garden patio area. Food's gonna be on point. Cocktail program's gonna be super creative. It's beer and wine only but trust me they're building a cocktail list out of just a beer and wine program, so I can't wait to go over there. But let's keep taking a look around here because it's not just what's on Virgil, which is a ton, but if you go up to Santa Monica and go a little farther north, if you uh, are looking to cook for yourself, you have a Vons just up the street at the corner of, basically at the corner of Virgil and Sunset. Another new development that has more restaurants in here. And if you go down the street, you're getting into things like Safi's, which is what I had mentioned earlier. One of the best Mediterranean restaurants that my wife and I have tried recently, but I'm gonna show you where we like to go even more than that. Across from Safi's, you've got Found Oyster, but let's go into Silver Lake proper and go closer to Sunset Junction, which is where all the shops are and restaurants and everything. I'm gonna put an asterisk around it. Right here, My Vegan Gold. Crazy eclectic menu and their vegan cow soy is one of my favorite dishes in LA. Also the vegan Thai jerky, highly recommend. As we go down sunset, just look at this. We're right over here. This little blip right here is where we're sitting. Uh, back, if I pull it back up, we're sitting at 4321 Burns, which for some reason, can't find it right now. Uh, there we go, 4321 Burns, right here. But if I pull the map just a little bit and you start looking at this little curve of sunset, I'm sorry, of Santa Monica as it goes into sunset, you have the Silver Lake Pool and Inn, which on Sundays is having a pool party during the summer. You've got Air One, so if you're looking for your groceries and you don't wanna go up to Vaughn's, you want that you know special Air One touch, you're 2,200 feet to Air One. Super easy to get to. And then like I said, look at all these restaurants. You have everything that everyone travels from the rest of the city to get to, and it's all right at your fingertips. I think that the location here, if you're, as I mentioned, if you're a foodie, cannot be beat. And then as you continue going down, you have all the shops. I'm not even getting into it, but look, Retro Super Future, APC, Aesop. I mean, you've got all the East Side fashion spots. And then obviously, you gotta go to my staple, Alfred, grab a 
large matcha Americano iced, two scoops of matcha because I am a caffeine addict. You got all of the Sunset Row shopping to do here. All day, baby. I mean, it, this place is full of restaurants, but let me take you to my favorite place right now. My wife and I have been going here. It's a little farther away. It's called Greekman's and it's in a parking lot. It's super off the beaten track. Like you're probably gonna miss it if you drive by it. It's like a, uh, what else is in here? Like a laundry and a smoke shop. But Greekman's is serving an authentic Greek dining experience. And they have the souvlaki platter for like 45 bucks that comes with all of the skewers they make, some pickles that they make in house, some beautiful bread and a couple dipping sauces. We get that, some olives, the fried zucchini chips, a couple glasses of wine, and you're, I mean, that's all you really need. If you want one of the hottest and hardest reservations to get in the city, it's right across the street at Pija Palace. This is an Indian Italian hybrid sports bar. It's a mashup of a whole bunch of things that you wouldn't normally think would go together, but everybody is lined up for it all the time. They release reservations seven days in advance. If you can get one, if not, first come, first serve at the bar. I'm dying to try this place. If you've tried this place, leave a comment because I'm really curious what you think of it. I've heard uh, nothing but rave reviews, but I'm always interested in hearing what people had, what they enjoyed, what they didn't enjoy. And then this place for another off the beaten path, La Sorted Pizza. This is LA style pizza, whatever that means. We got it last weekend. They have wings, they have sandwiches, they have absolutely delicious pizzas. They make their own meatballs, they make their own sausage, they make their own sauce. Pizzas were perfect size, perfectly cooked, super delicious, super flavorful, and a great price for the quality that they're bringing. Now, let's get into just like a general feel for where we are. So I'm gonna pull uh, the development back up here. So we're technically in Virgil Village, which is the dividing line between Hollywood and Silver Lake. You can see it right here. We're like right between Hollywood and Silver Lake. Down here, you have downtown LA. It's a short, like maybe 15 minute jump. You go straight down Virgil, hop on the 101. You're in downtown in no time. You wanna get over to the Grove, you're about 15, 20 minutes. You wanna get to West Hollywood, 20 minutes, Beverly Hills, that's where my office is. You're probably um, about 25 minutes on average. And then everything else, once you go past that, I mean, it's LA, so you're gonna be sitting in like the 30 to 40 minute range, but that is what this city is all about. It's a car culture. You're gonna to have to have a car. You're gonna be going anywhere here. My uh, favorite thing to do recreationally is golf. And you are just down the street from Griffith Park. And Griffith Park has three courses in it. It has Roosevelt, which is a nine hole par, like three and a half. I played it last weekend. It was the first time there. Incredibly well maintained, challenging, but not hard. A lot of fun. I'm actually going back this weekend. You also have two other courses, Wilson and Harding, and those are proper 18 hole courses. They are always packed. They're two of the better public tracks I've played anywhere in the country, um, but LA is known for its public golf. It is the city with the most public golf courses in the country. I believe it is 17 or 18 courses at 15 locations. And then as you just saw the Griffith Observatory, which you can see right out this window here, you can see the Griffith Observatory. You can also see the famed Hollywood sign you are really in the heart of everything. If you go just north, just a moment, you cross over Santa Monica and you're in Los Feliz. And Los Feliz is another one of my favorite areas on the east side. And you get to share, this is Hillhurst, shares a lot of the same culinary uh, similarities that Virgil does where it has a ton of bars and restaurants. So you have everything here. Look at this. I mean, these are incredible. Uh, All Time is one of my favorite restaurants. It's an incredible lunch spot. I've said incredible 4,000 times. I gotta find a new word. But All Time, delicious. All Time delicious. 
The salmon bowl is so flavorful and such a great option if you're looking to spend a little bit more on lunch. All time is the place to go. Seabird Kitchen, again, shout out to the veggie pilot, my cousin Matt, turned me on to Seabird Kitchen when it was down in Long Beach. Delicious vegan option. I go for their grilled cheese with sauteed mushrooms and have to get the tomato soup. It's, it's too good. Doesn't matter what time of year, that is a go-to dish for me. So this is, I mean, you're, you're in the center of it all. You're in the center of everything that you need to be in the center on the east side. I will tell you that in addition to the development I'm sitting in, we have developments in Los Feliz, um, up in where I just showed you, right off of Hillhurst. So you can just basically hop, skip, walk, crawl, backstroke to all of the restaurants on Hillhurst. And we have another couple developments coming up, one on Hyperion, four units, absolutely stunning, three and four bedroom residences, 270 degree views of the east side and of Los Angeles and downtown. And we have another that's up on Waverly, which is a farther up here where you have Trader Joe's and you have all of the restaurants along uh, Hyperion here, which is Hyperion Public, Bar Bricks. I mean, the east side's not short on food options, on drink options. You have everything that you could possibly want from Trader Joe's to Gelson's to Erwan to Vaughn's. You've got it all right here. Uh, and we have another unit available right near the Ivanhoe Elementary School. It's actually, the development is called Ivanhoe on Mesa. That one is a three bed, three and a half bath. It is three levels plus a roof deck, 1.9. We have one unit available. It's stunning. And if you would like a tour, drop a comment. My info's on the screen right now. Send me a text. If you're interested in looking at property in Los Angeles, you're thinking about buying property in Los Angeles or you have property in Los Angeles and you're considering selling it, I'm here to answer questions. People reach out to me every day asking questions. Even if you just wanna see what your home is worth or what you can afford or what interest rates are doing or what new projects are coming up, shoot me a text and stay up to date with me. Let's just have a conversation. Whether you're thinking about buying today, tomorrow, in a year from now, whatever it may be, I'm not going anywhere. This is my career. I love what I do. So I'm here to help. And particularly when it's on the east side like this, when you have all of these bars and restaurants, you've got quick access to golf courses, what more could you possibly want from a community? This development is six units. Two are currently under contract. Four are available. We have three interior units that start at 1.2 million and we have the north facing end unit that is 1.35 million. You get three beds, three and a half baths, brand new construction, independently owned solar. So if you're charging a car, our solar engineer says it'll basically offset the car every month. And if you're not charging a car, then you should get about a 30% offset on your monthly bill. I mean, what more could you ask for? You've got Samsung smart appliances, induction range, five skylights on this level, on all of them, every unit, interior or not, has five skylights. Every unit, every residence has five skylights. Every residence has the same layout. Primaries faced west, secondary bedrooms faced east. You have a uh, first floor bedroom office. All bedrooms are en suite. Engineered Spanish oak on the second and third floor. Uh, private balconies. I, I, the list just goes on and on. You have to come out and check it out. We're so close to all of it. Look at this. If I just go from Roosevelt Golf Course to where, we, where I am sitting right now, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and that's with traffic right now, 10 minutes. Where else in Los Angeles can you be 10 minutes away from a golf course and have as many restaurants, coffee shops, bars, and luxury stores as you can in, as you can right here? We're one mile away. Drop a comment. Where else do you think you can get it? This place is $1.2 million. So that's the caveat. Please tell me another place for 1.2 million, you can get over 1,800 square feet of new construction, three bed, three and a half bath, be 10 minutes 
from a golf course and be a mile from more amazing restaurants and shops than you can be right here. I know this was a bit all over the place. I would love to hear your thoughts on the map tour because this is the first time I've done it and I get super excited about what's around here. So let me know how I can do better or, and let me know in the comments what neighborhood you'd like me to tour, show you some real estate, show you some homes, show you some restaurants, whatever it may be. And like I said, my number is on the screen right here. I'm here to help, I'm here to answer questions. As I said, people reach out to me every day wondering all sorts of different things about real estate. And I love having those conversations. So this has been fun. This has been chaotic. I think I'm a little over calf. I think I'm a little over caffeinated at the moment. But if you would like a private tour of Virgil Green or the development that we have on Waverly or the development we have on Hyperion or the one that's coming up in Los Feliz, send me a text. Let's have a conversation about your real estate journey. All of these properties that I mentioned other than Waverly are off market. We have a new development group that works on all sorts of new projects, single family through multi-unit. And I've got homes from $550,000 studios to $20 million custom homes in the Palisades and everything in between. So if you're looking for something specific, something special, something unique, like I said, shoot me a text, drop a comment, and let's have that conversation. I'm here to help, I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me, and I will see you on the next video.